watched all the videos thus far. Thanks, man. Woke up early enough to catch a stream. Cool. Welcome here. Or a lot of money. Yeah, that's fair. I really need to uh, pick a time to stream. I think this is a good time for me to stream. So maybe I'll try to stick to that more. It's around 3 p.m. my time. Starting now is decent. Night shift hurts, just woke up. Dang. Hope you at least get paid well for a night shift. Alright, I'll slow down. This lion being here, he's blocking my ability to turn, so it's really important that I let him go by. You don't, Sag? Damn, that's rough. This man's just gonna push the Minotaur out. <laughs> oh, what a gamer. That's funny. Oh, a Petro. Spooky. Insta fires, let's go. The torpedo spin cycle. There's not really enough in range yet. We'll certainly try. We just have too many people here. Yeah, you, you only get the research bro after uh, five lines. However, you can still unlock it if you pay extra for the dockyard ships and get the research points or no if you do the dockyard somehow if you ever collect research points you will unlock the research bureau i believe that's how it works yeah the 130s here do uh certainly perform a lot better yeah yeah it's much 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 nicer Hey, Doom, how's it going? You can get RP from daily missions. Oh, that's a good point. I actually don't know exactly how it works. I, it There is some way to unlock it sooner, though. I know that. See, this is where this entire line really suffers, because what do you do? Everything's out of range. What do I shoot at, you know? It's kind of the problem. RP from daily missions happen after it's unlocked. Ah, yeah, OK. Makes sense, makes sense. I shouldn't. There's no point in shooting these torps. There's nothing to hit. Played a game today. Double CV, double subs. Closed the game after that. <laughs> yeah. I believe you. Mm -hmm. 
Seems like the appropriate time. That is rough. Yoshino Torps? Probably the uh, 20 kilometer Yoshino Torps, I guess. The player base deserves CVs. Is that what Bison says? <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. And the subs. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. <laughs> oh, it's funny. You're adding the subs on? Oh, yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. I guess I'm spotting the Petro? Like, is that my role right now? Is to just be like... Here, I'll outspot you and my team will kill you? I guess? Can't really do it forever, though. leaving. Too bad. That's been experience with Harbin in a tier 10 game? Yeah. It's... It's just not possible to get in range right now. It's so rough. Oh, it's so rough. Ruprecht might turn around. Oh, he won't. No. Never mind. Never mind. Detonated. Hmm. It's pretty good. They might start pushing back in, so I'll launch those out. Yeah, I just have like, z I have zero battle impact, you know? Like my ability to impact this game is just zero. I've, I've spotted a bit, I've... I've functioned a bit like a destroyer, but a destroyer is a little more useful in its uh, ability to take control of areas of the map. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I can't get too aggressive, because then I just die. Hmm. It's that side. So that's where the Yoshino is. Right? Probably. 
Yeah, yeah, like a spotting DD would help for sure. But even then, I don't know. I don't know what the play would be necessarily. Maybe I blind fire this guy? What's the distance here? Maybe I have enough to uh, reverse out and spot this guy? Damn. What's this concealment? I, I can't keep going. The Vermont will nuke me. Yeah. Tough. Really tough game. <laughs> Thanks, Seufil. I, I really do want to experience this this line, though. I think for the most part, it's interesting content, at least. You know, like the video I put up today on the tier. Uh, oh, damn. Rating one. Holy crap. It did over half my HP. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That one tarp did more damage than I've done in this entire game. <laughs> Uh, like, I'm happy this line is bad, but playing it sucks. Like, playing against this is rough, for sure. You know? You know, that's like, uh... It's a little rough to, to play against something that has this kind of HE spam and smoke and that, but... I don't know, man. Like, he's at 12.8 kilometers, and I'm aiming as high up as I can, and I'm barely able to hit him. You know? This is... I don't know. You played the tier 9 and 10, and you like them? I think the 9 and 10 are better, for sure. They have to be. They get access to range, at least. You know? But still... This is rough. Like, double fire instantly? Like, th that's the thing. That's the thing. This line is so... It's so extreme. If you're within range to get hit by this, it's like, all right, it's going to hurt. But it's time to leave. I'm just thinking about how we win this game. It's time to leave. Um, what was I saying about this line? Yeah, it's like super duper tough to play against this thing. Like if you push into one of these, it's like you're asking to die. Um, but at the same time, if you if you run away from them, they're harmless. Like what are they gonna do? You know? What are they gonna do? These are for the Petro, maybe, if he uh, pushes in. These are for, I don't know, Yoshi.
Yeah, okay, so something's in the gap. Not Petro yet. Alright. Yugumo or Yoshi? That's fine. Really, all we have to do is live, and I think we win this one, so... It's boring. Very boring. Low impact on the game, but... Why is it allowing me to target this guy? Is that because I was last on my torps? It's a weird one. Feels like Wargaming... All Wargaming does is create lines that encourage you to kite instead of push. Yeah. For, for a while now, I mean, the German battle cruisers are an example of that not necessarily being the case, but uh, yeah, it's like, it, it, it feels like as they've had more time to develop this game, and they've needed to come up with new gimmicks to not sell people, but, you know, encourage people to play uh, play the new ships. They've made the game more passive. I, I think it's very... It's a safe thing to say that Wargaming's design of this game has been to make it more passive, more long range more difficult to play at close range, more difficult to push in, more difficult to make plays. I think that's pretty safe to say. Um, which is too bad, because this game really is at its best at those closer ranges, I think. <laughs> Yoshino's got the max range. Uh, he, I actually need to dodge this. He overmatches me. Dodged. There we go. Subs are out. Yeah. Definitely something we all wanted to see, right? Fifty seconds. What a game. <laughs> what a game, man. Uh, how do I even put this on YouTube, you know? Like, who's going to want to watch this? Like, I get that a live environment, sure, like, we can... You can ask questions and we can talk about stuff, but, like, if you just show up on YouTube and, like, I want to be entertained... 30k in 20 minutes <laughs> very entertaining sorry nearly 31,000 I should be clear and like we didn't even do half bad on the score like oh my goodness what is this Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, 30k damage pog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I might upload it to that, uh, the second highlight channel. I don't think it would perform very well on the main channel. Because I don't, I don't think this line really excites people. So it's not like I can just put Harbin Tier 8 Pan-Asian Cruiser in the title. And it's going to get people to click, you know. Not that it should only be about people clicking, but... It's something I have to consider. I mean, let's try again. <laughs> let's try again. 
<laughs> Monster Harbin game. <laughs> Unlocking the true potential of Harbin. The ultimate Smolensk at tier eight? Question marks. <laughs> oh man. Brutal. My best Harbin game. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the matchmaker on our side. Although there are carriers and submarines, so I don't know how we're going to do against that. We'll see. After detecting a submerged submarine, you use depth charges. All right, I'll get right on that. Um, I just have one question. What if he's like 10 kilometers away from me and I hit the button? What happens? Welcome here, Samu. You thought subs were pulled? Nah, dude. Oh, so they like pop out behind me. So what if the submarine's like two kilometers in front of me just shotgunning me with torps? What am I supposed to do? Right, like what am I, uh, how do I play around that, you know? Yeah, subs are, subs are back. They're gonna be in the game. Guaranteed. It's the whole wargaming is too proud to admit they're uh, wrong. On on the small scale, they can admit that they need to tweak things, but on large scale, they can't. They can't do it. They're not capable. Which you know, to be fair, it is hard to admit. You know, it's not easy to admit when you're wrong. Especially when you've spent, you know, the amount of money Wargaming spends on development. But still, it does feel like... Feels bad, man. Gascon's a little spooky, for sure. Wow, what a gamer. Man's not looking. Hmm, that double click didn't go through. Too bad. I mean, our torps are out, you know? They might do some. For you, Jinan is the best torp boat in the game. Ooh! Torpedo hit. Fog. They're not pushing this side. They're not gonna push. I don't blame- like, I can't- I can't blame people for not pushing. Ooh. Wait, you can see the whole ping now? Oh, that's neat. Hmm. I wonder if that means my battle as a battleship player, I could actually uh, lead that. Blind drop that. Play some battleships yet today. 
So I'll, we will be able to test it out a little bit. But I feel like I still just won't want to push in a battleship. <laughs> There's no incentive really to push in. Really? He's coming through? Seems too risky, you know? Hydro, that's fair. Okay, defensive fire actually shoots planes down. That's fine. I feel like this guy should be taking more damage than he is, but maybe I'm wrong. There we go. There we go, there's the damage. Kinda hoping for that. too far away. Even, even in the same tier game where I get all these islands right close to the middle of the map, I still struggle, you know? It's still a rough time. Maybe I'm positioning this all wrong? I don't know. Whoa, that was some lag. It's good. Yeah, so with defensive fire, I am capable of shooting down tier 6 squads. That's good. 
bad. How is this guy still alive? Isn't he on like a thousand HP? Yeah, okay. Clean up crew? I can be clean up crew. Sure. Which side are we loading? This side. It's fine. So the th question is now, without defensive fire, how does it go? spotting. That's pretty bad. See, they're so far back, man. Like, they're so far away. Like, look at the hipper and this Carneus, or however you pronounce it. Like, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? No. Can I do this? It's a little risky. Really not kill that yet? Yeah, bro. It's brutal. Like, like, what is this game, bro? What is this game? Why am I like unable to do anything? What? What? I don't like this ship. I feel useless. I feel very useless. Because everyone is just running. And I don't blame them, but I, it's just very frustrating. Oh, it's very frustrating. New record, yeah, true. Man's is blind firing, fair enough. Oh, homing torps, huh? Those are fun. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot how those things work, don't didn't I? Classic case of everything but the tier ten is really meh. I guess, yeah. I uh, I haven't played it yet, so I guess we'll see. To be clear, though, I also don't find Ichi spamming cruisers particularly enjoyable, even at the best of times. I think they're just kind of cheesy. But this seems especially bad. 40k, how broken is Arbin? True. True. I did 10,000 damage more than my ship's HP. Can you believe that? That's, that's tough to believe.
Dang, man. <laughs> That's against my own tier. Top score, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I mean, top, top score 40k. What is going on? What is happening? What is happening? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm having some of the worst games ever, and it's... Ugh. I guess it's something to remember uh, when people post top score games. Apparently it's not too difficult to get top score sometimes. See, it's a good ship, true. It must be. Forty Italian tokens. Wow, how generous! I actually have enough for some of this. I don't know. Maybe I need to be more aggressive. I'm gonna try one more, and then if this one goes poorly as well, I'm just gonna play other stuff for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's tier eight. Tier six carriers again, you know. It's not epicenter northern waters, so it's it's got some potential. I, I actually wonder if I'm being too passive. Like, that actually could be a problem here. I'm playing too passive. So maybe I'll try being much more aggressive. See how that works out. Oh yeah, I need to update my mods. I'll do that after this game. I totally forgot to do that. Record it and put it up, maybe. Our ranger has now got some planes up. It's good. Starts botting stuff for us, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> that's a Vladivostok. Holy crap. That's going to be very difficult to kill. really like to go here so that's what I'll do to start spin to win might be the play
Might be too focused on the Torps. Which would be fair. Nobody's actually pushing that, so... Yeah, maybe I'm just playing these ships wrong. That could be. Just gotta get good. It is this side, yeah, okay. It's my loaded side. It's good. enough lead. Feels bad. There we go. Now we got the lead down. It's a better start, for sure. Yeah, we're at 45 now. That's good. Primarily down to the Sharn Horse burning, I'm sure. I might eat Torps here. This is pretty dumb. But I really want to kill this Moss. Our CV's going to spot him. Yeah. there. Interesting. Yep, there's the torps. I think we'll need one. Yep. Not too bad. boost yeah probably ooh we considered all of HE even damn yeeks look at that dispersion He probably backed off. Yep.
You know, which is smart, to be fair. <laughs> no, internet, please. Oh, why is it doing it now? Damn. All right, settle down. Starling's having some issues, I guess. Oh, there goes the damage. <laughs> well, at least sure I got something, right? I went too far. Oh well. Yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, there's the fires. Oh, look at that. We're nearly at... Nearly, uh... Nearly 100k. That's pretty good. That's kind of loud. Ooh, can't quite get it over. Not quite. Need to kill this guy, Starlink. <laughs> yeah. Good old take advantage of the cover, island cover gimmick. Not the Harbin. You hate this ship? Yeah, it's not a very good ship, is it? It happened to work in this game though, so that's nice. And I played it more aggressive. However, it looks like we're maybe gonna lose this one. out now. The Amagi should spot the Algeri before he pops out and surprises me. I hope. Coming. The torps should stall him? Or maybe kill him? Too bad. Whiffed all of them. Shattering on a tier 7 cruiser, bro. The 
Come on, team. Just a bit of help here. We still lose, but damn. It hurts. Probably should have swapped to the AP here. Wasn't sure if he was actually gonna go broad or not. At least we got him. At least we got him. And now I used my smoke. Which is bad. Got a full health Massachusetts to deal with. <laughs> oh man. Spooky stuff. Oh, Aramagi's dead. Too bad. Is there anything close to dead? Nope. Yeah, the battle impact is rough with this thing. I get damage on a loss that was really never that close. And I don't get damage on wins because I'm not contributing to wins. Right? I'm getting damage because my team is losing so badly that the enemy team is so confident to push in, right? So it's just a bad ship. It's a bad line in terms of battle impact. If people push, it can farm reasonably well. It doesn't have the reload or the, you know, ability of like a Smolensk to farm, but it's decent. <laughs> 